We're in the dress section and the way this store works is they don't categorize by size, they categorize by color. And I'm going to a wedding in November and I wanna buy a dress, but I wanna thrift it because I don't wanna spend a lot of money. So because it's in November, I wanna go with like deep colors. And so this is the section that I would look in. I'm also gonna go to the Salvation Army that I usually go to because this one is very small. It's the first time I've ever been to it and I'm not that impressed. So we're gonna take a quick look and then we're gonna go to the one I usually go to. Let's say something like this. I like, let me see, let me get a better. Okay, see, I like that. I gotta check out the size. Okay, I can see from here it's a large. See, but that's it. So like in this color section, you're just gonna get a mix of smalls, mediums, larges, which stinks because I, know, I think it's just harder to look that way. And it's kind of disappointing if you find something and it's not your size. I like this one too. It's a little plain, but I, I just like the color's perfect. I'm not gonna go with it. Um, I think I could do a little bit better, but as you can see, I have a <laughs> kind of look I'm trying to achieve with what I've showed you so far. I think with like a really classy pair of shoes, some perfect jewelry, I think this is a dress that I could pull off, but I'm not sold. I like that one. I also like this one but thanks to my menopause body that ain't happening I like this one too not for a wedding but I like how comfortable it is the material is so light too look at this one too how pretty it's more of like a early autumn maybe even a spring dress, but I think you can get away with it in autumn. The wedding's like in the beginning of November, so I want something a little bit darker, but what I'm finding is I've been looking at Savers too, and I kind of like their selection of dresses better, so maybe I will get lucky. I don't know. And the dressing rooms are open here, which is amazing because Savers, uh, the dressing rooms are still closed, but it looks nice when you look at it, you know, the change in the colors, but again, I just wish it was categorized by size and not by color. But you can't have everything, right? It's either pretty or convenient. Oh, and look at that back. That is so pretty. Oh, I wish it was the colors I was looking for. I have a look that I wanna go with. So as tempted as I am to get it, I'm not going to because the colors, but that's really pretty. I do have a wedding in September, but I already have my outfit, so I'm gonna be good and not get it but I really do like it. Too small and not what I'm looking for anyway, but I am digging the detail on that dress. Another style I love. I mean, just throw it on, look cute, and way comfortable. I decided to try it on, but it's definitely too tight and too short. really like it. Actually makes me look I have a figure because menopause took care of that. The fit it's nice and comfortable, but there's too much gray and black. I really wanted more of like fall colors, and I don't think this is the one, but it's definitely, definitely the style that I'd like to find. We had just reached the second store, which is the one I usually come to. It's more than double the size, but unfortunately, they're closing in 55 minutes. So it goes all the way down there. And the dressing room, I forgot what she said, but it's closing even sooner. So I gotta hurry up, because if I find anything, I don't think I'm gonna be able to try it on. So let's see what happens. I'm looking for the dress section, and I haven't been able to find it yet. Oh, is that it over there, maybe? Hmm. I also realized that this store is way bigger and a lot less workers. That other store, like every inch of the store had a worker. Yes, dresses. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to rush. Let's do this. I don't know if the other store did this, I didn't notice, but they've got it categorized as sleeveless dress, short dress, short sleeves, and long sleeves. 
So I want three quarters. Would that be in the long sleeves or the short sleeves? But from what I can see, I think the other store had a better selection in dresses, believe it or not. This one's cute with the side rouging for Christmas dress. That is so cute. That is so my style. What a cute little dress for fall. Ooh, look at that. What do they call that? Off the shoulder, one shoulder. Look at that slit. Sexy. I like this one too. But not the right colors. Here's another example of all the color coded as far as in the pants section. They even separate patterns and still color code the patterns. And in case you were wondering, they color code the shoes too. On the other side is all the blacks. Here's the fun color shoe section. I like these. I always like coming over here and looking at all the furniture. They always have the biggest selection of furniture pieces. And I'm gonna have to rush. This thing's. But well, we're gonna go ahead and make the best of it. Look at that white rattan desk. I like that. Ooh, look at that TV stand. Look at those bureaus. Is that a bureau? I don't know. Random things. Ooh, what's this? Pretty. How much is that? I was just about to say it's free. No price tag, but it's hiding over here. No, nope, that's blurry, but it says $9.99. That's a little too much. I really like this. If it was cheaper, I would actually buy it. But it's $12.99. I don't want to pay $12.99. But I do really like that. Remember I told you that they color code the clothes? Well, they do with the home decor, houseware items. They do the same thing. So as you go down, the colors just switch. Which that I kind of like. I really like that concept. Look at that. Look at those colors. And it goes into green. And then red and pink and yellow down there. I'm gonna back up because, I mean, isn't this the favorite part of the first store? It is for me. All right, let's go back to the right and start from the beginning. See if I can find anything good to turn my car. Just in case we were too far away, here's a closer up look of the oranges and the yellows. So I was so impressed with that first Salvation Army even though it was um, a lot smaller but I loved that it had like a boutique feel to it. So I decided I wanted to come check out more. And this one is actually like in an old factory building. And this is the back of it. And they have a huge furniture space selection. It goes all the way back there. Whoa. That is older than the Mohegan's old. Funky coffee table though. I think with some imagination you can bring that to life and look really good especially like in a farmhouse country um, type of style home if you go for that feel i think this would be workable check out this funky set i like the legs 
Ooh, that is some grandma print, huh? I love these things. Always reminds me of the events back in the day. My sister had one. It reminds me so much of her. And I think they're so pretty, even just for display. Popperware. Check out this outdoor table set. This is amazing. Check this out. Metal. Bench. It's got all the four chairs. Place for your umbrella. This is a sweet find. I don't see no price though. But this is amazing. So here's an overview to this store. You can see the windows over there. That's the front of the store. Now to concentrate on the dresses. We got this row and that row down there. Let's start looking. Very nice. I like that detail, but I don't want to do animal print. But I like that dress. So, so pretty. only $8.99. This dress is disturbing. I guess it'd be cool for Halloween. So I just kind of insulted that dress and there is somebody literally picking it up right now and I'm pretty sure she's going to buy it. Oops. Anyway. The dress hunting here was a bust. So I'm going to take a quick look at the housewares and then I'm going to go hunt for another store. So store number four, it's a pretty small store and from the looks of it, this is the dress section, which is very small. So I don't think I'm going to be here very long at all, but let's take a look anyway. That's cute, but I don't want to go with sleeveless. That is really cute. If I had an event to be a little bit more dressier, that is something I would definitely buy. Really cute. Another pretty one. It's a very lovely dress. That is a really nice detail on both sides. I like this one too. It's a much deeper blue than but the camera's making it look like the camera's making it look like almost like a slate, but it's actually a very like deep turquoise blue. So the lace in the back. To me, this is a perfect summer dress. Throw it on. You look so adorable, so comfortable, so flowy. We are now at store number five. It's a little bit bigger than the last one. But the dress selection is not that big. <laughs> so let's investigate and see what this one has to offer. But I'm starting to lose hope. Another big furniture spot. I just left the dresses. No go. But I'm not worried. I mean, I have plenty of time. But I wouldn't mind finding one, right? Getting it out of the way. Coordinating it. Getting it ready. I'm sure I'll find something, and if I don't, you know, there's always regular stores. I have to pay full price, <laughs> get something on sale. Oh, what will be the outcome? Look at this gem. It's $9, though. It's not one of the half-off colors, so I don't want to pay 9 but that is a great find. And by the way, we are in the next store. Uh, I think this is store six. Um, there's been a lot of Salvation Army thrifting as of late. So I doesn't count, but I do think, oh my gosh, how cute. I do think this is store number six. Here's an overview of this one. It's very bright. Funky floor. So right over there is the dress section. I already checked it out. There was a woman having a conversation over there earlier. There was only two dresses that I liked. Not the look that I'm going for, so. We interrupt this thrifting sesh for a donut break. Yes, it is as big as it looks. 
in this one. We are in store seven, right? I don't know, I gotta go back and count. Anyway, it's a very sad little store and it's in one of my favorite places ever to visit, which is Newport, Rhode Island. Um, but this place leaves much to be desired. In fact, um, they have a sign that everything here is 75% off. They're closing down permanently as of the 17th, which I think is like in two or three weeks. Um, so it was probably a wasted trip. And here's the wall of the dresses. There's like nothing. So I'm still gonna look, but yeah. Uh, the time and gas definitely was not an investment but oh well we are at the last store um, my hunt is over this dress I really like it a lot I know um, I don't know I don't think this is the dress especially for a you know fancy wedding um, but I, I do I absolutely love this dress I think maybe if the top was a little more covered, um, that reminds me really of a sundress, even though of course it's got the long sleeves, but like I said, there's, there's more that would not make me be like fall comfortable. You know, even like the ties, that reminds me of like something summerish. So it's gonna go back. Upon arriving to this store, this is the first dress that I saw when I hit the dress aisle and I stood here for a little bit contemplating whether or not to get it. I love it. I absolutely love this dress. It's only $12.99, but I know in the end, I don't want to wear sleeveless. Like I know that to the core. So I'm going to walk away like I did before, but Honestly, I wish somehow it was different up here because this would be the dress. Oh my gosh, tell me. By the time you're watching this, obviously I'll be gone. Did I make a mistake? Should I have just gone sleeveless? You might possibly hear a lot of outdoor noises. That's because I have my doors open. I love to keep it open as long as I can. I just love letting nature in. Unfortunately, no dress. Even with all those stores I hit, I just didn't find the exact thing that I was looking for. I also looked at savers every time I went. I held off as long as I could to see if the dressing rooms would open back up because even with everything else that opened back up, savers remained to have their dressing rooms closed. And now, since all that thrifting for dresses, they've completely pulled out their dressing rooms. They pulled those out and put in self-checkout. So I completely stopped looking there for dresses. Now, I am still looking, but we're getting really, really close to the wedding now. So I have started to also look in regular stores because I need a dress. I am going to post in my stories and probably at least one post on Instagram of what I ended up wearing and a lot of pictures and probably video of the wedding in itself in my Instagram stories because who doesn't love a wedding? So I will leave my Instagram handle here if you want to go ahead and go over there and I don't know they call it follow I can't stand that word but it is what Instagram calls it so if you want to follow along there to see um, I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful as of yet I wasn't able to thrift a dress but I did thrift both these shirts that I have on
I also thrifted some home decor. I haven't really done any home decor tours yet in this house, but believe me, home decor tours are coming. I thrifted some decor from Salvation Army, some from Savers, and some from yard sales. So we'll start off with the ones from Salvation Army. And this basket has like the little handle. So this is something you could sit on um, furniture, but I'm actually going to hang this. And I have the perfect idea what I'm gonna fill it in with. So like I said, it's coming. And this was only 99 cents. The second thrifted piece of decor from Salvation Army was this really cute was wicker basket. I think this has like an actual type of name that they call it, but I'm not really sure what the correct name of it is. It's I think it's like in the boho um, style, but I have no idea. But I got this for a shelf. Then I got these antique weathered candle holders. These were um, $3.99 for the set of two. And they're like, I don't know. I have no idea if they're real brass or not. They are not focusing. Here we go. And you know, they're almost like tarnished, which yeah, brass tarnishes, right? But they, I, I just love the weathered look. And I have the perfect candles for this from the Dollar Tree. Now we're moving on to Savers and there's no price ticket on this, but I'm almost sure that I did get it at Savers. I've done a lot of thrifting lately because of that dress. So at first I just saw it and I really loved it. And I didn't even realize it until I got home. Maybe this is the actual purpose of it, why they made these back in the day. But like I said, I only realized it when I got home that there's coasters in there. How cute is that? There's quite a bit of them too. I mean, look at that. The next thing at Savers was this little like carafe jug very old school very old fashioned it's very light so the camera's having a hard time picking it up but oh here we go can you see that it's got like a the stickers cutting some of it off but it's got like a farm scene with a barn and it has like the it's not a well it's, maybe it is a real cork it looks like it's a cork but it got glazed over and it opens up and that was $2.99 from Savers. It reminds me so much of the stoneware, dinnerware that you know my, my parents had. So even though it's not from my family, I appreciate the fact that it is, it does connect with that. The last thing from Savers, which I believe was $2.99, maybe $1.99, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is just like a basket or if there's like an, a specific use for this basket. If you know, share it with me, but it has a handle. It's pretty long. Again, that wicker and it's got almost like a Oh, like a shine to it. Now my yard sale finds. I picked up this like woven basket. I don't know, is this like a bread basket or something? And it's got two handles. And I think this was 50 cents. I believe it was like, like stupid cheap. And my plan for it is not to actually use it like a basket, but to use it hanging off a shelf. So just picture like if this was a shelf and I don't know, that's not a good example, but this is how it's gonna hang with, I believe I'm gonna use this side instead of this. I don't know, we'll see. And the last piece of decor that I got at a yard sale, my friend, cost me only 50 
sentence. It is all natural. The leaves, the eucalyptus, all of it is natural. None of it is store-bought. It smells divine. And it's definitely not like worn or faded, but you can tell that this was made a while back. I, I would say at least, honestly, like 15 year. This has got to be like a 10 or a 15 year old wreath. You can tell, but it, it's held out so well considering that it's all natural. And I'm like, really, like I'm doing jumping jacks in my brain right now that I scored this for 50 cents. So that's where I'm at. A little disappointing that I didn't find the dress, but I am super happy with the decor that I found for sure. And these were very, very inexpensive. I think the shirt was like three bucks and this one was $4 and it's so comfy and it's perfect for this time of year. So overall, I think I did very well. You know, I absolutely always love hearing from you. So in the comments, let me know out of all the dresses that I showed you, which one or which ones did you love? Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope to see you in the next one. Also on Instagram. Bye.